Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually one that some of you guys have requested and that is talking about baby registries. Because let's be honest, as a first time mom, it can be really overwhelming and you just don't know really where to start. So we're gonna be talking about what I decided to put on my registry, what I decided to just leave off entirely, and just how I got over that overwhelm. And for me, I started with watching videos like this, reading different articles. Um, some registry sites do have example registries and those are really helpful to me. And then also just reaching out to some of my friend moms, you know, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And kind of taking their advice, you know, with a grain of salt, of course, just like I expect you guys to take mine today because everything on my registry is what I believe is going to work best for my family and my baby. This video is probably gonna be a little bit of a longer one, so I'm gonna split it up into different sections and timestamps for those sections will be listed down below. So let's go ahead and get started. I decided to use baby lists for my registry for just so, so many reasons. No, I'm not sponsored because I wanna be talking them up so I know someone's gonna wonder. <laughs> but I decided to go with them just because of how many options you have. What I decided to do is make a separate Target registry, a separate Amazon, a separate Bye Bye Baby registry, and then super easily you can just connect all those registries together on your baby list site. So all your guests or whoever's shopping for you all go to the one baby list site and everything is listed together. This way you have more options in colors, brands, and it just makes it so much easier. So, you know, you're not having people buy doubles of something at, you know, on your Target registry and on your Amazon and, and whatnot. Another way you can add to your baby list, which I thought was super, super easy and functional, is you can add a little baby list button at the top of your browser. It's really easy to do it. They walk you through the steps on the site. And so let's just say I'm on Amazon randomly. I see something I want. Oh, I want to add this to my registry. All I have to do is click that baby list button and there you go, it's right there. When I do add each individual item, it goes ahead and it lets me decide, do I want it in a specific category? Is this a must have item? Do I want one or do I want five? Oh, random side note, I forgot to mention, the reason I did make separate Amazon, Target, all these different registries and then combine them instead of just using that baby list button, you know, the whole time pretty much, is because then you can apply to get the little freebie from Target, the freebie from Bye Bye Baby, and those are just gonna be a little box of samples for you and your baby and kind of see what you like. So that's just kind of a little fun fact and, you know, free stuff. Why not? <laughs> Can't go wrong with free stuff. But I loved Bye Bye Baby's interface. It was really easy to use and really self-explanatory. Oh my gosh, I just saw it says 86 days to go until my due date. Okay, that is, that is a little insane. Anyway, back to <laughs> the registry. One feature I really did like is this gift tracker here. It is going to lay out who bought you what. So when it comes time for those thank you cards, you're not scrambling. Makes it way, way easier. So I just popped over to guest view so you guys can see what it looks like. Just gonna have my name, my due date. You can put a little cute welcome message and picture here. And then I do like how you can kind of filter through if you have a certain budget, if you want to shop from a certain store, or if you want to shop just the major must-haves. And then if you go to this little button over here, you can see all of the little different categories you can sort your items into, making it just so much easier to maneuver than a ton of other registries I've seen. We're gonna go ahead and start with on the go. And first up is this summer infant pop-up seat. Of course, this is for when baby is a little older, but this one has great reviews, picked a neutral gray, and you can see you can buy it from Amazon or Target, they're the same price here, but that's not always the case. So that is just easy for buyers as well. Okay, so down here we have this little portable diaper changing pad. I went ahead and chose this specific one because not only is it cute, but it is longer than your normal changing pad. 
So it's going to kind of go into that toddler stage as well for you. And I really liked how there's a spot for the wipes and a little diaper pillow. <laughs> I thought that was super cute and a cute little baby, of course. And I do know that some diaper bags have one that's kind of attached and just folds down. I wanted one completely separate because if we're out at dinner or something, I can just hand this little package off to Will and he can take, you know, little baby boy off to the bathroom without him lugging the big old bag if we don't think it's necessary. And then I also added these two slings or wraps and there are a ton of these on the market, different materials, different um, types with clips and some with no clips. It's just, you know, there's so, so many. I'll actually link a video down below that I found really helpful. Um, someone went through, you know, each specific kind of wrap, how to use them and what they liked and what they didn't like about them. I decided to go with the boba wrap carrier which comes in just so many colors so you can kind of pick and choose what you want i decided to go with this super neutral gray because it will just go with anything i wear but i've heard amazing things about this brand in particular i've heard that it is super super soft and it's really good for the newborn stage because you can kind of tuck their little head in here and not worry about you know, bending over and putting stress on their neck. So this is not only for good for newborn, but then as they grow older, you can wrap it a little differently and have their heads stick out like you see here. The other one I have on here is a little bit more expensive, but I've heard amazing, amazing things about it. And this is the Kite Baby. And I just think this little ring sling here is the cutest thing ever. And I've heard it is really good for when your baby gets a little bit older, like this cute little babe here, and when they can hold their head up high. Also it comes in a ton of different colors. So you really, ooh, I don't remember there being a black. Hmm, do I want black or do I want to stick with my mint? Okay, I'm going to stick with my mint. Here I am shopping, guys. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> Next up is this shopping cart cover, which I thought was just a super cute, easy design. A lot of them are like super bold, crazy patterns. And I just like the little simple classiness of this one. And I also love that you can attach a little toy here on the sides. Or if you have a super fussy baby, you can just stick your phone in here and put on a little YouTube video or something. Wraps up really nicely and then you can also use it as a high chair cover as well. So I just think this is absolutely perfect. I loved it more than any other ones I saw on the site. Next up is the On The Go Baby Dome from Fisher Price. And I don't know why, but this is like one of my favorite products that I'm just excited about. I think because I just can't wait to take my baby to the beach and out in the garden and just hang out. And this way he can nap in the shade, not have any mosquitoes or anything on him. And it folds up super, super nicely. I've heard great things about this, honestly. So I just can't wait. This is definitely a must for me. It's kind of a mini playpen, essentially. Okay, diaper bags. They are so hard to shop for, especially online, and just makes it extra difficult when you realize, unless you want two separate bags, you need something kind of manly for your partner. Um, this one I liked because it has the stroller hooks. It ha does have a waterproof changing pad, even though you guys saw I have the extra one. Insulated pockets were an absolute must for me for baby's bottle or if I'm breastfeeding, um, primarily, you know, what if I just want a cold water bottle? They have a little extra pocket for mom here, and inside, let me see, there you go. Inside, it looks pretty spacious, and there are little zippers on the edges. So, I thought this was just kind of a beautiful, you know, could go masculine or feminine, and will do the job for both of us. Alrighty, next category, we are on to sleep. So, sleep, oh my goodness, there's just so much to talk about. <laughs> okay, so we have a couple different swaddles here, and there are so many swaddles on the market. I have gone through so many articles, so many YouTube videos about what swaddle is best, what isn't, and honestly, you're just not gonna know until your little baby is here because they are gonna dictate what what they like and what they want and how they want to sleep. 
you won't see any of the original you know blanket swaddles on my registry because I got a ton a ton of hand-me-downs from one of our friends who their their little one just didn't like to be swaddled at all I think the main brand that she gave us was Lulu and then some Target swaddles as well but the Lulu brand you can find on Instagram just the softest things ever I kind of hope that our little one is cool with just being swaddled with a regular blanket um, but if not I do have some sleep sacks and swaddles on here and I'll show you the ones I went ahead and picked like I said you don't know what your baby likes so you don't want to like stock up on like you know a ton of one certain kind I decided to go with three separate kinds that kind of will work for different stages and we'll see what he likes so following that extremely long swaddle intro I went with the halo sleep sack and this I have heard so many good things about so for this one you use for kind of smaller babies you zip them up and then tuck in their little hands and wrap them up tight and velcro them in and that's really gonna help with the startle reflex when they kind of go like this and then they wake themselves up I went with this cute little star pattern, but there are tons of options for whatever your little heart desires. But this is one kind of made for newborns and you know the first couple months. Another one I got for this stage is the Swaddle Up, um, also the Love to Dream, I think it's called. And this is for when babies like to sleep with their little arms up close to their face, which is a really common thing, and they don't want to be held in like a straight jacket. Um, like I said, you just don't know <laughs> what your kid is gonna like, but I've heard amazing things about this, so figured I'd give it a shot. I also got this one in a small. I figured if he is a sleeper like this, then I can, you know, upgrade to the medium when the time is right. So last but not least is this little nested bean sleep sack and this little bird here is actually weighted with beans or something I'm not too sure but that's gonna make them feel like just a little bit more secure kind of like a weighted blanket for anxiety um, but as you can see here they have their little arms just free so if your if your baby likes to sleep like that then this is perfect but it is also going to keep them nice and toasty warm since you know you're not supposed to really sleep with a free free you know big old fluffy blanket due to safety reasons it's also reversible for when they get older and they can roll over um, by themselves and they start sleeping on their tummy and this specific one I have heard is better for older ages when that little startle reflex isn't really there any longer Next up is this Hatch Baby Sound Machine, which is probably the most recommended thing I have heard about from any of my mom friends. They say, get a sound machine, your baby is just going to sleep better. And fun fact, inside the womb, the baby hears everything. They hear your blood flowing, they feel if you have like a bowel movement, you know, they hear everything. And it's as loud as a vacuum is what um, I read somewhere so this sound machine is actually really soothing for them because they're not used to silence so I put this as a must-have and the hatch baby is just the best from what I've heard you can change the color of the little night light you can change the type and the volume of sound um, and you can even use their app to set timers or change the volume directly from your phone which I thought was pretty cool I also added this portable dream egg sound machine that you can just clip onto you know your stroller or if you're traveling this is just gonna be perfect to take along so you don't have to you know lug that hatch baby that needs to be plugged in and I've heard great things about this brand they even have a larger one I think you know for the nursery sim uh, similar to the hatch baby and I've heard great things about that as well but just looking at reviews, I saw this one to be the best mainly because of the little clip feature um, and that the battery life is better than a lot of the other ones. I also put a couple crib sheets on here. This is just the little I love you pattern from Target's Cloud Island brand. I think it's just so cute. And then I actually have a two pack um, of just mint and then little 
uh, clouds and this is also from that same brand at Target. Next up is the crib mattress I put on here which whoops I'm not supposed to see that it's purchased but you know didn't mean to see that. Um, trying not to look. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with this link. I will try and find the actual link for you guys and put it down below if you're interested in this one. It's around the $80 mark which is pretty reasonable. Now with crib mattresses all the research I've done has pretty much said they're all pretty much the same. You just want to make sure that they are certified, you know, safe, and as long as that is good, you are set to go. Crib mattresses are made to be firm. You know, it's not like our mattresses. We want to be cushy and, and comfortable. You want them to be a little firm so they're safe for your baby. And then most, if not all, I honestly, I've only seen one or two without it. Um, already have a water resistant layer so you don't need to spend money on that extra mattress pad covering. I also did not put a bassinet on my registry because my mother-in-law already said she's going to buy it for us um, as one of her gifts so I honestly I don't know 100% which one I'm getting but I think I'm going with the Halo Bassinet Swivel Sleeper and this one I just liked because you can kind of push it under your bed and maneuver it over top so it's easy to reach in and get baby out especially you know for those nighttime feeds and then it has this little handle here if you can see um, it pushes down for easy access to the baby so you're not like reaching over this crazy um, bar in the middle of the night it's also adjustable for your bed I've just heard great, great things about this one, and the price for $200 is pretty good. If you have looked into bassinets, they can go from like $150 to like thousands of dollars. If you're looking at the snow, which you know, rocks, and I think there's timers and things. I mean, some bassinets can get really, really intricate. I just wanted something that was going to be functional and easy to get my child out of in the middle of the night for those nighttime feeds without it really being a hassle and without it being like this big, massive, chunky thing um, in our bedroom. You know, just another baby item <laughs> that has to go in our bedroom. So this one, sleek, easy, you know, affordable as bassinets go. I think I'm going with that one. By the way, if there's anything I'm missing on here that you guys think I really need to have or you don't think that what I have on here is great comment down below because you know I'm just one person doing research so I am so down to hear all of your advice down in the comments you guys always have great advice great tips and I'm sure you guys could help me out and help each other out down in the comments if you think of anything next is this section that just says general it's I only have a couple things in here. Um, I did put one of these pacifier snuggle, snuggle holders. You're probably more familiar with the Wubbanub brand. That is like the big brand. I just went with this one because I just thought the elephant was the cutest thing ever and it comes with the um, Philips Advent pacifier which is said to be one of the best for breastfeeding and to help with nipple confusion. So that's, that's why I went with it, even though you can um, take it out and replace it with any other one that your child likes. If your child is not a fan of this specific type of pacifier. But I just think Wubba Dubs are so smart. It's just so smart. You're not going to lose a hundred of these things. It's less likely to fall on the floor. You know, you can detach the pacifier and clean it up and reattach. I just... I think it was a great inve invention. Whoever you are, kudos. <laughs> I also have a little four pack of those same little pacifiers on here. You know, it's said to be the best kind for nipple confusion, but who knows? Your kid might hate it. So I just got this four pack, and then I also put in this super cute Ryan Rose um, pacifier as well just in case our little one isn't a fan of that other brand I have you know at least one other option to go with and then if he likes one of those I can hop on Amazon you know prime it get whatever I need next up is this baby gear section which I'll go through but I don't have a ton on there because I am just so blessed with friends who have given me so many great hand-me-downs 
things that I probably would have purchased myself if I wasn't given them. One of those things was the Up A Baby stroller. Now, there are so many strollers on the market and this Up A Baby system was just gonna be my big, big splurge. Um, just because it is so easy to convert the Up A Baby from a one kid stroller to a two child stroller and it just, it folds up so easily and honestly, it is beautiful. It was gonna be my big splurge, but I got an almost almost brand new one from one of our friends. So, like I said, so thankful for that. And then we were also given this swing, which I just honestly love how compact it is. It's not gonna take up our entire living room. It has different sound effects, it has vibration, also different swinging speeds. It's just honestly probably one I would pick out. <laughs> And then we were also given a baby Bajorn, which I was also gonna put on here. And that is just a little bouncer seat. Also just super sleek and classy. I mean, not just crazy big old bouncer in the middle of the living room, which I know is it's gonna happen. My whole house is gonna be baby toys and baby things. So don't worry, I'm aware it's happening. But you know, when you find things like the little swing that's compact and the baby Bajorn that is, you know, more on the classy side. I don't know if classy is the right word. You know what I mean. It's not the bright orange, you know, plastic um, baby stuff, you know, in your face. <laughs> it's just, it's just nice to have some of those items. So I did get all of those as hand-me-downs and like I said, I am so, so blessed. But one thing I did put in this baby gear section was the baby Bajorn cover. Um, so that is $80 to just get a new cover for the hand-me-down one we already have. I also went ahead and got a Snuggle Me Organic Infant Lounger. So it seems that people either love or hate the infant loungers. And you can go with the Docker Top, which is a little bit more expensive, um, the Snuggle Me is kind of in that middle range. Um, it is still $100, but I just think this is gonna be perfect when we're hanging out on the couch or I need to do something really quick with him nearby still, of course. You don't wanna leave them alone, but he can just chill in his little lounger while I do something nearby. Now, I did wanna show you guys this cheaper option here, and this is honestly one I almost went with because you can untie the bottom and it just allows for when your child gets a little taller. They're not gonna outgrow it as quick. And they have some cute little patterns here and the price is significantly better. I just went with the Snuggle Me because it's organic and I don't know, it was just one of those things as a first time mom, I wanted to splurge on it. And if no one gets it for us on our registry, totally fine, then we'll either purchase it ourselves or not also added this cover here so it's easy just to take off and you know clean up the lounger just in case there are any spills or any issues going on because with a baby you know it's gonna happen and then the last thing I put on my registry is this little play mat it was actually very hard for me to find a play mat that was um I don't know, just the right size and the right shape for what I wanted, and that was washable. My friend Michaela, who has just been doing so much baby research with me, I love it, um, she actually found this one, and it's super cute, it's reversible, it has little stripes on one side, and then I think it's little, yeah, little polka dots on the other. Look at that little baby! Oh my goodness, baby time is so soon. But I just think it is cute, it's organic, non-toxic. I love that it's reversible and absolutely love, 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 love that it's machine washable. Can't go wrong with that, seriously. All right, on to transportation. Next up is this car seat um, car protector. And this is just going to save my car from extra little crumbs and scratches and whatnot. And mainly, I put this on here because I'm gonna be getting a new car and I just wanna keep it as clean as possible. And then of course, I have one of these mirrors. And I went ahead and chose this one because it has this little nighttime light up feature, 
which I thought was really cute and probably will be used quite a few times. And it was still in the price range of all of the other um, mirrors that I saw on the market. Ooh, baby boy's kicking. He likes his mirror. <laughs> Next up is this battery operated stroller fan. A lot of the other stroller fans um, have a little clip and it's not going to attach to every surface or every stroller thickness. So I really liked how this one has those little legs that you can just twist around or you can make it, you know, tabletop or look, you can put it in the car. It just has way more functionality. Next up is this baby car seat cover and just if we want to go for a walk while he's sleeping or something, you know, it's not going to be super bright or, you know, just to keep the sun off of him in general or if I just don't want people touching him or bugging him, you know, who knows. And it also doubles as a breastfeeding cover, which is just really nice to have on hand and something that is dual purpose. Okay, so next up is the clothing and accessories category, and you guys will see that I don't have too much in this category for a couple of reasons. The main reason is because everyone loves buying baby clothes as a gift, and it's not necessarily like, you know, they see something on the registry and pick it. It's more so they're walking through the store and they see something cute and they have to buy it. I am the same way when I buy on registries, I normally buy at least one thing, normally like a more practical item from their registry and then I just see a cute little toy or a cute little outfit and I buy that along with the other gift. So that's kind of the main reason I didn't put a lot on here and I also just know I already know there's some family members buying clothes. We've bought a couple things that I'm trying to hold off. And then we are getting some hand-me-downs from some of our friends who just had boys as well. And so I'm just gonna kind of see after my shower what I get, you know, through gifts and hand-me-downs and then just kind of fill in which sizes I need. But there are a few things I did put on here that I just know that I want. First up are these cute little fleece booties. And yes, I know we live in Florida, but it's gonna be, you know, December, January, February, and we're gonna be doing stuff outside for the holidays, so I figured we would grab some of these. That will most likely stay on his feet a little better than socks, because you know little ones just don't like to keep their socks on. And then he also added this cute little three pack of hats from Target, and I know this is something that people do like to buy, um, you know, even if they're not on registries, but I just wanted to make sure I get at least, you know, one or two little hats because they're just so cute. <laughs> and then I also added this cute little sweater. I have just been obsessed, obsessed with baby sweaters lately. Don't ask me why. We live in Florida. He's not going to need that many. I've only bought one so far, but this one was a must have because just the cute little ears and everything. And my husband will just loves bears. So this was just a need for us. I also added this little 12 pack of baby socks and who knows if he will even keep them on their feet or if we will use them but I just wanted to have some on hand just in case and this cute little gray set will pretty much match anything we have. And then next up we have this adorable little dinosaur hat and I just couldn't say no to this one. I just can't wait to watch him wear this in the garden or at the beach. Oh my gosh, it's just so cute. This is a must have. Did I label it as a must have? I did, okay, good. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, it, I'm in love with that hat. And then down here, I just have some onesie sets and these are just the, you know, Gerber organic generic white onesies. I have two packs here. One is gonna be the zero to three month size and then one is the three to six month size. And then I also have a long sleeve version for um, zero to three months, I believe. And these are the ones with the little mittens on them. And you know, can't go wrong with onesies. He'll probably be living in onesies and sleepers, you know, for the first couple months of his life at least. So that pretty much wraps up the clothing category. On to feeding. First in this category is this adorable little cactus bottle cleaning brush set. And 
Not gonna lie, I just added this today. I saw on one of my friends' registries and I'm like, uh, yes, I need this. I really do need this. <laughs> um, before I saw this, I just had kind of the generic bottle cleaning brush um, on there. But I heard that, you know, they're all pretty much the same as long as you have this little cleaning um, pick. I don't know what you call it. The mini brush, I guess. Um, to just help you clean the small parts of the bottle and the nipple. So I am planning on breastfeeding and then, you know, if we need to supplement with formula or um, pump or, you know, do whatever's necessary, I think that should be every mom's choice, every every family's choice. Um, but you guys will kind of see like a mix of bottle and breastfeeding things in throughout here. But one thing you won't see in this section is a breast pump because I'll be getting that through my insurance. Highly suggest you looking into that. Just call your insurance or ask your doctor. My doctor said he's going to be talking about that in my next appointment. Hence why I really haven't researched it. One thing that I did get that everyone raves about for breastfeeding is the Hakka. And this one right here, this main tall one, is the original Hakka. And then you have this cute little ladybug set that is supposed to be inserted into your bra kind of as like a hands-free version of the Hakka. I went ahead and put the combo set on here because I just, you know, you never know what's going to work for you and you never know what you're going to like. But I definitely wanted to have this to catch any letdown that I have because that breast milk is, um, you know, it's in high demand. <laughs> Next up we have this little space saving drying rack. I just like that it was vertical, so it's not gonna take up my whole entire counter, even though I know there's some, you know, really cute ones out on the market that, you know, are more stylish. I just thought this was gonna be more functional for our family, and I loved how everything's removable so you can clean everything separate, and then I had this little bucket on top for the smaller pieces. So now on to bottles. So with bottles, there are so, so many out there. It's kind of like swaddles. You, you just don't know which one your baby is going to like. Um, it's just kind of like a hit or miss thing. One thing that you can do, I kind of mentioned earlier, is get all of those free sample boxes from the registry websites. And a lot of those do have bottles in there, so you can kind of test them with your baby when they're new, and then you can say, oh, they really like this one, go, you know, prime it or whatever on Amazon and get your full set just so you're not wasting money over and over and over trying to figure it out. A lot of doctors and pediatricians recommend the Dr. Brown, Dr. Brown? Yes, I must said Dr. Phillips. That's something local here. Anyway, <laughs> um, Dr. Brown's bottles, I guess they're like really good for nipple confusion um, alongside of breastfeeding. So I was looking into those. But one of my friends asked me if I would be using plastic bottles or ones of a different material. I hadn't even thought of it. Did not cross my mind until she asked, but it makes sense. We have replaced all of our plastic um, Tupperware to glass. I try not to put any plastic in the microwave. I try to, you know, just drink out of um, metal or glass like water bottles just because plastic items especially when heated up are known to release chemicals that can kind of like mess with your hormones I'm not a scientist I say it all the time but that's just what I've researched so if I am not going to use plastic and heat it up for me why would I give that to my infant so I was looking into other options. There are glass options, but that just seems heavy and that scares me, like if it breaks or if there's a crack or something. Um, there's some really nice stainless steel options that I almost went with. I did decide to go with these silicone options and Komotomo is probably one of the most popular ones out there. Um, it said that the nipple is best for kind of bottle to breast, you know, the nipple confusion that I've been talking about. Um, I've also heard it's really easy to clean and I really haven't seen many bad things about it, but I did want to get another option just in case our little babe did not like that type. So I went with the Nano Bebe, Nano Bebe, whatever. <laughs> um, this one is supposed to be awesome as well. I've heard really good things about it too. So it's, you know, probably second to Como Tomo but it is supposed to also mimic the shape of the breast. 
And I did read that a lot of people liked this scale um, on the outside here. I guess a lot of bottles have them, but they're hard to read. I don't know, I haven't really dealt with bottles before. <laughs> On to these little breast milk storage bags. Nothing special, nothing crazy, just your kind of generic pack of 50 to get me started, um, assuming that I can breastfeed. And then down here is the Boppy. So if you've done any baby research at all, you've probably come across the Boppy pillow. Everyone raves about it, and it's really made for feeding time, um, whether you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding, everyone says it is a lifesaver. And then when they get older, you can kind of start propping them up in different ways. And it's just kind of another, you know, lounger um, and seating option. I also decided to add a separate boppy um, cover just because, you know, there are going to be spills and, oh, look how cute he is. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, there are gonna be spills and I just want to be able to throw one in the wash and exchange it when need be. I thought this little, you know, sage green option was adorable. If you guys have been around, you know I'm kind of obsessed with that color right now. <laughs> Next up are these Kindred Bravely Organic Breast Pads and this is an eight pack. I figured this will give me a good start. Comes with this cute little bag here. But I feel like I'll use reusable and disposable, so this will just kind of get me going. Now down here, we're going to kind of start talking about a couple things for when he is older, getting more toward, you know, the solid feeding stage. And I didn't put a ton of things on there for this stage, just because I really want to make sure we are set for the infant stage, and then I can always buy... Um, as I need it. But another main reason is because we have Christmas when he is two months old or maybe three, depending on when he decides to come along. And what do you get a two month old for Christmas? Of course, probably some cute little things, but I felt like feeding items were a really good thing for us to gift him, you know, like his high chair and some items I know we're gonna need. So I just put a couple things on here that I know I want 100% and they're not too big and bulky to store. I added two of the Easy Peasy placemats. So these are different plates and bowls that actually suction cup to the table. So hopefully they don't just rip it off and throw it on the floor. I love that they are all dishwasher safe, making it super duper easy to... This one you can kind of portion the food off into little sections, which a lot of baby um, dishes do. But I did add this one here that is just a bowl because I do want him to get used to mixing his food together and just kind of avoid um, him being a picky eater and you know not wanting his food touching if possible. I mean, if he is one of those kids, that's fine. But I figured this was just kind of a good start. And then I put one of these cute little snack cups on here, the sage color again. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but this is just one you, know, you can put Cheerios or their little puffs or whatever, whatever in here. And they won't fall out. I also added two of these silicone baby bibs. You can also throw these in the dishwasher, which is so nice. And they have the little, um, and they have the little pocket here to catch any food, you know, that they drop, which is probably most of it. So it kind of helps with food waste and cleanup at least a little bit. And they come in a ton of different colors, but I figured this would just get us started. And those are actually the only bibs that I registered for. We got quite a few of those bandana type bibs for drooling and teething. And this isn't the set that we have, but it's something very similar. And I think our set is like a 15. So we're kind of totally good Good to go on those. They are barely even used. She said her kid didn't drool at all, so she never put it on him. But these are good just to, you know, keep their clothes a little cleaner and, you know, not have a soaking wet onesie the whole time. You can just exchange these cute little bandanas. So these little reusable pouches are obviously for when he's older as well, but I thought these are just honestly really cute. I love the animals. And they're awesome to add in your own applesauce or if I want to make any homemade purees or anything because those individual pouches that you buy at the store, um, they can get a little pricey and buying, you know, a large thing of organic applesauce and portioning them out is going to be a lot cheaper in the long run. 
and these are washable and reusable so thought I would give them a try next up I have a four pack of these muslin burp cloths I have heard that these are one of the best to use and they just soak up a lot um, and they're just neutral colors you know throw them in the wash bleach them do whatever I've also heard that the fabric um, or reusable diapers are awesome to use as burp cloths which I honestly might add a couple of those to my registry I just kind of forgot but um, we did get like a pack of maybe six or eight burp cloths um, from one of our friends again and they were like pretty much unused like they didn't even look like they've been washed more than once so that's why I really only put a four pack on here. So the last thing in this category is nipple butter and I did a ton of research to try and find the best one that is organic because a lot of them aren't organic and they specifically say on the packaging, you know, wipe this off before feeding. Well, I'm gonna be tired. I'm gonna be, you know, not thinking 100%. I'm not gonna always remember or want to, you know, clean my breast every single time before a feeding um, so I really tried to do some research to find organic ones that actually work the ones that I found that were the best is the earth mama organic nipple butter and this one honestly was probably one of the most recommended ones but just in case I wasn't a fan of it or it didn't work for me I also got the honest um, calm your nip balm <laughs> That's cute, I didn't read that before. Um, but I've heard good things about this one too. Now we are on to bath time. Speaking of organic products, Tubby Todd, oh Tubby Todd. I just can't wait to get me some Tubby Todd. All the YouTube moms are talking about it and I'm like, I finally have a reason to get some Tubby Todd. <laughs> First up is their all over ointment and this one is a little pricey but I've heard that this specific jar lasts quite a while and this is just for all over it's your generic ointment so you can use it as lotion it's good for diaper rashes really good for anything but I did put on their sweet cheeks diaper paste as well and this one I believe is just a little thicker obviously specifically made for diaper rash and then last one Tommy Todd I just put on the hair and body wash um, like I said, everything's organic, and if there is a fragrance, then it is a natural fragrance. Or you can always pick their fragrance-free options. See that it says in stock soon. This is listed through the Babylist website, and that's how I got it on my registry. But you can also purchase this through the Tubby Todd website as well. And then a couple things I threw on here, just as little extras, just for fun. I put on this shark hooded baby towel because you know you need at least one cute little hooded towel oh man I'm so so sad they don't have a picture of a little baby in it well picture coming soon guys we'll have one for you soon <laughs> I also added this little duck bath scrub um, I wasn't going to get this but will actually pointed it out and was like yes we need to have something very soft for his little head so I thought that was adorable and we put it on our registry now for baby baths there are so many on the market I've heard some moms you know don't even use them and they just hold their infant in the shower with them we decided that we did want a bath but we wanted one that was super versatile so we can really use it in any way because there are so so many out there we went with this little whale bathtub from skip and hop this one has a little plug so you can use it either inside the tub or you know on the kitchen counter even which is probably where we will do it during postpartum recovery at least at first but it is awesome for little ones because it has that little um, fabric insert you can see here for infants and then as you know they get older you can take it out and they can sit in it like a little pool essentially we also added this cute little knee pad from the same brand just you know to make it a little bit more comfier once we do transition to the bathtub I originally wasn't going to get him his own washcloths because let's be real they can just use ours but these were just super super cute I love the little ABC patterns and these are organic um, if that is important to you so I just decided to get him a little three pack 
And then last step in this category is just a cute little baby brush and comb. All right, we are making it down the list here, guys. We're on to diapering. I did add this big pack of water wipes. A lot of people do like to buy diapers and wipes for you, but I've seen if it is not on your registry, then they just kind of buy like whatever brand here and there, which isn't a big deal and we'll use whatever we get, of course, but I would like to be using organic, fragrance free, you know, you know, as chemical free as you can get with disposable diapering. Um, reusable diapers are just not for me. If they're for you, go for it because I wish I could deal with all that laundry and all that cleaning and everything, but I just know I disposable is the way to go for our family. As for wipes, I went with water wipes. I've just heard great things about them. I've heard they're soft, you know, they're unscented, and they are 99% water. And then for diapers, I went with Pampers Pure. I've heard that these are the best as far as leak proof and um, price wise for the unscented, you know, uh, more chemical free route. Now, I hope I can find it for you guys. I'm gonna link down a video um, below. There was somebody who did a test of all of the, you know, organic brands and tested, you know, if they leak or if they fit right. Um, prices, everything, and she lays them all out. There's so much info in that video. I will link it down below. And then I added this Gather Mat, and Gather is a company that makes beautiful, beautiful mats and beautiful toys. Um, this one is their micro mat made for diaper changes. And this is something I am just going to roll up and stick kind of in a diaper caddy in our living room. So I can just, you know, throw him down not throw him, you know what I mean? But put him down on the couch or on the floor and I'm not gonna get, you know, any any diaper mess, if you know what I mean, um, anywhere else. And their mats in particular are known to just wipe down super easily. Now, this next item is definitely a splurge. I just think that the Moses style changing baskets are adorable and just, I don't know, I feel like it's gonna look so cute in his nursery. One thing I did look around for was one that had the handles on the side here, opposed to in the middle section. I feel like the middle section would get in my way a lot more. And this is a pretty good price for the baskets. They can get pretty expensive. Um, I don't know, I just think it's adorable. Comes with this cute little mattress with cover. Now, with that being said, we were actually gifted a Kikaru, which is just a super nice, changing pad that is plastic so you can just wipe it down you know there's no laundry involved and this one will be in our bedroom for those nighttime changes and then the basket will be in his nursery now there's nothing wrong going with the original changing pad situation you know it's about 20 bucks and it works great you know it's gonna work for you just put on one of their little covers and you are good to go Next up is this little wipe dispenser. This isn't a warmer or anything fancy. It literally is just going to dispense the wipes. The main reason I wanted this is just so for those nighttime changes, I'm not crinkling around with the wipe um, container and causing a ruckus and waking him up even more. Now, some people think that wipe warmers are necessary. I personally think that it's kind of a waste of money. That's just... I don't know, my preference, I guess. I I feel like we all survived with normal wipes growing up, so. I'm planning on having a little diaper cart and stocking it full of everything we need so I can take it from our master bedroom to his nursery, to the living room, to wherever. Um, having nursing, things like my, my pump and whatnot, and then everything needed for diaper changes. Um, we already have a little cart that our friend is giving us but this one here is very similar on Amazon. It comes in tons of different colors. And I believe you can get one at Ikea for like 30 bucks as well. Kind of along the same lines of taking things room to room. I have this little diaper caddy on my registry as well. And I loved that the little inserts can be moved around so you can, you know, change it for whatever size objects you need. And I'm actually planning on putting this on the top shelf of that cart 
So if I do need to take it somewhere else, I can. Do I want the whole cart or do I just want the caddy? Trying to make things as functional as possible, you know, first time mom here, I don't know what room I'm gonna need what in. I'm just being honest here. All right, so on to the diaper pail. I went ahead and added the Ubi um, Steel diaper pail. Now this is a little pricier than some other ones that are on the market. I have read that a lot of the other brands have issues with the lids breaking pretty quickly. I didn't see that in any of the reviews um, for the Ubi, so that's why I was kind of okay with um, something that's a little bit more expensive. But the main reason I picked it was actually because of the bags that go into it. Um, it is kind of a generic size, so you can get pretty much any type of bag out there on the market. You know, the generic Target brand, the generic Publix brand, wherever you are, wherever you shop. Some brands like the Diaper Genie, I believe, you have to get their specific type of bag. And while the diaper pail itself is cheaper than this one, the bags over time are more expensive. All right, we're on to nursery and decor. There's not much in here. I did add this cute little four by six rug for his nursery. We are getting close to starting the nursery. I am just so excited. Everything's planned. We're just taking other steps that need to happen before his room, but, but we're getting there. Then I also added a set of 50 little baby hangers. You know, I guess this isn't that exciting, but it's necessary. And to go along with the hangers, I did get these little closet dividers, just so I can kind of separate his newborn clothes from zero to three months. You know, each size will have its own little section, just helping me stay organized throughout the year. All right, on to the health and safety category. I just have this, you know, kind of generic thermometer. It's nothing fancy, but it will get the job done. And then I do want to be using a baby or a newborn laundry detergent. Um, Dreft was the one that was always recommended to me, but I did just read somewhere some iffy information about it. So I, you know, don't quote me. I have no idea. I have not done the research yet. Um, cause I literally just saw that this morning, but I will be looking into it. I just want to find something, you know, that's going to clean their clothes chemical free as much as I can. And then I added some aquifer on um, baby healing ointment. I love everything aquifer. I also decided to add these Dapple baby all purpose wipes. They are chemical free and I feel like this will just be perfect to wipe down, um, that changing mat and the changing pad. Um, or even his toys. Next up is definitely a must have for me and that is this electric baby nail trimmer. I just don't wanna cut his nails and cut his skin on accident or deal with a squirmy crying baby and be worried about it. So this is just going to be perfect. I have heard just all the praises from different moms about this product. And then I added some of the little outlet covers. This is of course for when he is a little older and moving around, but it's something I just know we'll need, so why not put it on there? I also added some gripe water from Little Remedies, and this is good for um, colic, um, gas, or hiccups. Just kind of an all around fixer, really. And then we have the Owlet. So this is just a little sock that's gonna be going around your baby's foot and it's gonna to help to monitor their heart rate and their oxygen level. Now, there are mixed reviews, but that is mainly with the second generation I found and most of the third generation um, reviews are pretty, pretty good. Even if we don't ever need it, even if there's no, not ever an alert from it, I just know I personally, as a new mom, as a first time mom, I'm going to sleep better knowing I have that extra level of security and just, it's just that little peace of mind. Also in the health category is the nose Frida and you put your mouth up to this little piece here and you insert this into their nose and then you suck with your mouth to get their boogers out. Now, I have heard people freak out and just get creeped out. Don't worry, you're not gonna get little boogies in your mouth. <laughs> There's a little um, divider or separation part, I'm not really too sure. Um, 
that is gonna keep that from happening. I've heard that it works way better than the original um, nose sucker that we all know and used to love. Because not only can you determine how much um, suction you need to get the booger out with the old one, you really have, you know, one, one level, I guess, of suction. <laughs> and the nose fruta is way easier to clean because think about it. In that little, like, ball of the old kind, there's probably so many boogies. I mean, there's no way to clean that. So, I don't know. At least I don't think there's a way to clean it. So, Nose Frida is the way to go. So, last in the safety section is a camera. So, there is a huge debate over a Wi-Fi camera versus a non-Wi-Fi camera. Um, some people just say, you know, even with a good Wi-Fi connection, it's a little laggy sometimes. And then some people say it's annoying to have to use your phone to watch the monitor and not have a separate monitor. Um, Will and I have gone back and forth. We don't, we don't know. Like, we don't know what we really want. Um, we feel like checking on our phone isn't going to be really a big issue for us personally. And actually carrying around a second monitor would be more of a hassle and just another thing to lose, especially when you are very, very tired as a new parent. We decided to go with the Lollipop baby camera and we went with a blue color, but um, this green color here just has better pictures to show you guys. But the main reason we went with this one is because it is way more portable than most of the other ones on the market. As you see here, you can kind of wrap it around your crib here and we can easily move it to the bassinet if we want to or for traveling, it's just gonna be way easier to disconnect and move around than all the other ones I've seen. And it also gives you this little wall mount thing here um, that you can attach to the wall and wrap the camera around that. All right, we are now on to the last section, which is toys and books. Now with this section, I really tried to hone in on what I think we'll be using in the infant stage, you know, maybe through I don't know, six months, maybe a little after that, just because I know, like I said earlier, Christmas will be coming up just a couple months after he's born. And then, you know, he's gonna probably get something little for Easter, something little for each little holiday as things go. And we can kind of buy what we think we need as the time comes. One thing I did add are these black and white baby flashcards. When babies are little, they actually are colorblind at first and they just go off of contrast. So I thought these are perfect just to stimulate him and get his little brain working. I did put on a few teethers. This one is the Mom Bella and this one is fairly new, I believe, but I've heard great things about it. It's supposed to kind of mimic the curve of the breast making it, you know, not an issue for nipple confusion, especially for those younger little babes. This one I honestly put on here just because it is adorable and I just can't wait for my little hunk to use it. Uh, there will be a picture of that, I can assure you. <laughs> and then I added two of these itsy ritzy silicone ones. I added the dinosaur and the fox. And I went with these, actually all of them I went with because they are silicone and not plastic. Kind of for the same reasoning um, as I did go with silicone um, for the bottles and for the bibs and everything. And plus you can just throw them in the dishwasher and make your life easy. And then for a play gym, I went ahead with this little um, triangle shaped wood one. It is just super easy to fold up and store if we're not using it and I thought it took up a lot less space than you know your normal play gym plus it's super cute and it is a more Montessori uh, style play gym which I guess I should have mentioned before we went to the toy section we are going to kind of go toward that Montessori route but you know not going to be super super strict on it I also added these little black and white hanging toys so we can clip them to his crib, we can clip it to um, the stroller, we can clip it to that play gym, really can do anything with them and they make a cute little rattling noise. And I also added this little toy for when he's in his car seat. I just thought it was 
super cute and handy to wrap around and take along wherever we go. And then I believe in this little strawberry, yep, there you go, in the strawberry you can put a little Paxi. Then I did add this little flip book for tummy time and most of it is black and white uh, just for the same reasoning as we talked about earlier. And there is a mirror in the book as well because babies just love looking at themselves. Okay, next up is this Sophie the Giraffe. Now this is technically a teether, but I've just seen it used as a toy as well. I don't know what it is. I honestly couldn't tell you, but every baby I know in my life has a Sophie Giraffe, I'm pretty sure, and they carry it around everywhere. I mean, everywhere. So I'm like, guess we gotta get one. It's apparently the best, it's baby approved. So I went ahead and added that on. And then we have this set of two little wooden cars. I thought they were just so, so cute and will definitely be used for, I feel like, a very long time. And then you have this silicone stacker. You know, this is kind of a play off of that original one we all played with when we were little. And this is for when baby is, you know, smaller and needs something bigger to hold on to. But I also put these stacking cups on there as well for when uh, baby's fine motor skills get a little better. And I've heard like these are amazing and you can use them in different ways, which I thought was just amazing. I also added this little set of rattles and teethers. You know, every baby needs a little rattle somewhere. And these are silicone and baby safe. We have this little Montessori type toy where you take the ball and put it in the hole. You know, this is good for um, object permanence, uh, especially when they're really little. You can learn colors, you know, things like that. And while it looks really simple, I've seen babies pick up that ball, put it in the hole over and over. I mean, for 30 minutes or more. All right, wow, we are done with my registry. You guys saw every single item that is on there and everything we are getting for our little baby boy. Thank you so much for sticking around if you're still here. I know it was a long one. My throat is like on fire. That's how much I've been talking. But I just loved watching videos like this when I was researching and still like watching videos like this because you never know what you're going to find. But don't forget to comment down below your favorite baby item or if you have any suggestions or if you think I could have picked something better. I want to know from you and I want you to share it with this whole community, moms and not moms, because I know there are some great aunts out there, great friends out there who are also buying gifts. I know, I know there are some of you out there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in a couple days with another video. Bye!